Welcome back everybody to another Curios for the Curious. Today we have another wooden sculpture carving from Indonesia. Uh, I don't know of the exact details as to what this represents, but in general this is a large frog carving that has been stained uh, darker color as well as numerous uh, materials used to inlay uh, different patterns and another image into the center of the sculpture itself and this has been carved in three dimensions to give the impression of a resting perhaps crouching a frog and uh, Indonesia I believe does have several hundred species of frogs that have been identified as well as uh, perhaps many more that have not been discovered yet to this date so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this a little bit closer so I'll go ahead and reach in here Give you an idea of the size of this carving. It is quite large and does have quite a bit of weight to it. So if we actually give a look at the side profile, and I apologize, there has been some wear and tear over time through various moves, but we can see that it has very large uh, representation of the eyes, a flat, flat uh, dome-like head. There's the other eye itself. If we look from the front, you can see how its uh, kind of chin profile has been represented. And if we look at the bottom, it is flat, so it can sit on a flat surface. And this has have a tag on it. So you can get that. It says number 27. So this was part of a series. I unfortunately was not able to uh, acquire any very many more pieces like this. I do have one other that I will show in a different video of a different species. But if we turn around, you can see it's kind of a rear area here has been represented, as well as its various uh, appendages in carved form there. So this is all one piece. So I can imagine that the artist had envisioned uh, this representation when they uh, started with the original piece of wood and then took it from there. So you can actually see in the sunlight here, and it is early morning, but it is bringing out some of the highlights in the staining, which give it a more realistic modeled appearance. And let's look closer at the inlays themselves, starting at the tip of the uh, head area. You can see Mother of Pearl inlays at various points. You can move to the back of the eyes, uh, behind the head, in the shoulders here where the appendages begin. Working our way back to the body itself, we'll start with these inlays. Quite a few have been applied on both sides and here we can see the rear appendages here beginning right here in the body and then going back so these would be actually very large rear legs and then looking closer at the center image you can see the amount of work that went into this inlay pattern and the number of different materials used uh, or staining, depending on how you will look at it, but the variations in colors used, is I think, is quite stunning. And then this image here, almost lizard-like because of the length of the tail and the shape of the appendages and the head itself, as well as this image here. Not quite sure what that represents. Perhaps the sun. But again, 
This is a fairly large hat that can be held in the hands and then put on display, perhaps on a table or a stand, etc., or your desk. And uh, it does look like, uh, for a little bit of imagination, I think it's ready to actually uh, leap or maybe make frog sounds. So, in uh, summary, this is a Indonesian carving of a frog that has been inlaid with mother of pearl and other uh, variations on the wood itself. So this has been another Curios for the Curious video on an artsy type object. We also do unboxing videos on the channel, feel free to check those out. We also do more specific show and tell videos on vintage items and other mill serp items, feel free to check those out. We also do uh, a selection of book review media reviews. Feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.